All I want to do is keep my nose right in the box. It smells so good. Let's start off first with the smell of California. Okay, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I thought. When I first got the blush and I opened it up and I smelt it, I thought, this smells like a sweeter version of sunscreen. But now I know exactly what it smells like. Peaches and grapefruit. Whatever it is, I am here for it. Packaging wise, same as the other box blushes. I actually like this style, very portable, very easy. There is a sunflower design on the blush. And when I first opened the box, it had a gold overspray on top of it. Now the overspray is completely gone. I don't see it at all. Right now, it's just a sheen. I'm happy the overspray is gone because I don't actually like oversprays. I think it just ruins the products. California is marketed as that peach pink, the coral shade, perfect for spring, perfect for summer. I only have my complexion makeup on, little lip gloss, and I thought I'd show you the California shade on my medium dark skin. I don't have any bronzer on because I wanted to show you what the blush will look like by itself. Then I'm gonna apply some bronzer, then I'm gonna apply the blush on again, and I'm gonna show you how the bronzer kind of gives it a little bit more oomph. So you have two different options for this type of blush. So I picked up some product, brush it off, and what I do is I first tap it on and then I just buff it into the skin. Just depending on your intensity, see this is the second swatch. See how it already has started to build up? And that is what the blush looks like. Now I'm gonna show you how it looks with some bronzer underneath it. So I'm just gonna take my makeup eraser type dupe cloth. It will remove the layers of the blush that I um, put on. I'm just gonna put just a light dusting of powder back on my cheeks, just in case I have any extra blush there. We'll just kind of take that off. So the bronzer that I've been using, kind of pairing with this blush, is the Le Beige from Chanel. And I like this one because it's going to give me just that subtle glow. It's matte so I don't have to worry about any extra shine and any extra radiance kind of interfering because you get a lot of that, I feel, from the blush. I'm just gonna take the Kabuki brush and I'm gonna swirl it into the bronzer and apply some onto my cheeks. Now for the California, I'm gonna go back in with my same brush that I used earlier. The very first application, you see how that intensified and you can already see it. So if you'd like, you don't even need to put on a second coat, but I'm going to build it up just to show you the intensity. See how that just brought out the color? It brought out that coral shade just like that. I've mentioned that trick before with bronzer. Put a bronzer on your cheeks first, warm it up, and then put a blush on top and you've already got it just intensified. So see, so that's one coat. I already put it back into the blush and I'm gonna build it up one more time just to show you. So this time I'm just gonna focus it right here on my apples. So let's just deepen the apples and then blend it up into the cheekbones. I feel this blush has a satin finish. It has that slight sheen to it. It has that radiance, that glow to the blush, but it's not glitter, it's not sparkly, it's not chunks in the actual texture of the blush itself. It's just a nice, healthy glow. I do wanna thank you for stopping by and watching. Let me know if this is something you do plan on picking up or if you already have it. Do you love the scent? Like, come on, let's talk about that. The scent, oh, it's beautiful. I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, 
I'm gonna see you in the next video. I have a huge lip swatch video coming up, so stay tuned. Until then, I'll see you then. Bye everyone.